Hey everyone, it's Kim. And I'm Jen. And we want to welcome you back to another episode of Girlfriend We Feel Ya. Cheers. Cheers to that. We are doing just a very fun Q&A. Just yeah. a random q and A. I I have four questions that I picked out for Kim and she did the same for me. So we're just going to have some fun and go for it. Yeah, um, we're going to learn a little bit more about each other probably. Well, I mean, we know each other pretty well, but um, these are like just random. She doesn't know what I'm going to ask. I don't know what she's going to ask. So we just thought it would be kind of fun. All right. So Jen's going to go first. What's the weirdest place you've had sex? Oh, I didn't expect that kind of question. <laughs> Mine are really, okay. <sighs> uh -oh. This is so, I mean, because it's weird. Okay. Okay. I want to know. Um, they want to know. <laughs> I don't know if it's weird, but like outside in a, um, on a trail at Shelby Farms. Ooh. Like a wooded trail. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got poison ivy in my butt crack. Not nice. Yeah. I literally had to end up going to the dermatologist because, like, I was on a bed of, like, pine needles that had poison ivy underneath. So, it was a good time. <laughs> so, not So, no it. more of that kind of sex after that happened. But, yeah. So, that was that. And this, yeah, many years ago. Okay. So, there you go, Jen. Starting right out of the gate with like, <laughs> you didn't expect that of me, did you? No. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what is your biggest pet peeve? Do I have to pick one? I mean, you probably have like a one that's like the most annoying. I do, and I think now it's ingenuine people. Yeah. Is that a word? Ingenuine. Yeah, disingenuine. Disingenuine? Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm a, like, bit, you know, well, you probably know this, like, I'm a big person on, like, I don't like small talk, I really want to connect with people on a deeper level, and I just, I, I just can't deal with, like, superficial, fake, surface conversations, and um, not feeling like um, getting reciprocated in the, in, like, my relationships and yeah as far as like attention and conversation and care and um yeah okay so yeah you just you you want to connect with people and you really just don't have a lot of time for people that don't keep it real yeah that's, that's good yeah i think this made it to the top of my uh my pet list pet peeve list mm -hmm. all right what was the worst phase of your life Oh my god, you guys. Like, she's hammering me with these, like, heavy questions. Hey, we got to pick. And... Okay, well, I might just change some of mine off the top of my head then. Okay. Um, mm. You know, there have been a lot of those. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've learned a lot, made a lot of... Uh, Mistakes. I don't want to say mistakes, but I've had a lot of learning experiences along the way in my 50 years of life. So, but I would say that the worst part of my life was, um, really hard um so when I was living in Minneapolis um, I had moved to Minneapolis this was like think back I'm probably gonna get the dates wrong but back in like 92 uh, I moved there. there for a job like a corporate job and I got into the job and I hated it I was miserable so um I switched jobs I quit there and went to a different job and that was even worse and um, ended up getting fired from that job and so I was living in a city where I didn't really know anyone and thankfully I ended up meeting one of my best friends now Shauna mm -hmm. who lived who was working at the second place I worked and um, 
she was just kind of like my lifeline, but then there was also like a relationship in between all that that I was trying to like make work, but then finally had to realize it was never gonna work. So I think that part was just a really hard time in my life because I was really lost. Like I felt very lost. And um, so yeah, I would say I was in my... Like a transition yeah, of life there? Yeah, big transition in life and not an easy one. But it was it worth it? The other, yes. Yeah, because yeah, Shauna got me into photography, you know, if I wasn't for her. I don't best think, friend now. Yeah, so it came, It ended being really great, but um, it was very, very painful when it was all happening. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> yeah, so I just want to ask that question to you. Like, when was the hardest period in your Damn. life? Damn. Damn. Um, I've had a lot. A lot but I guess the one that um, I guess first pops into my mind is probably like right before my mother died so that was like 2014 uh, taking care it was it was just a fire building quickly of just super a lot of stress from work so I was like really like I was, you know, building my business, like, when I say building, I had already built it, but I was, like, working a ton, like, a shit ton. Yeah. Um, we were building his house. We, you know, I was taking my mother. There's a lot of family stress, personal stress, and I literally don't know how I functioned. Like, I look back, and I think, oh, my God, like, did I act like a, a sane, normal person? Yeah. In my day-to-day -day life. So I would say that, yeah, 2014 was like a fucked up year where I, it's almost like I don't I blocked a lot of it out. Yeah. It was so bad and stressful and hurt and painful. So. Oh, I'm sure. 2014. Okay. Yeah. All right. You even narrowed it down to a 2014. year. 2014. Yeah. yeah. It's going down in history. All right. So it's my turn again. It is your turn. Okay. <sighs> What smell makes you happy? Here's an easy one. Here's well, a light I and easy question. I can't smell. So I don't, I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So um, I lost my, um, I had a I accident a few years ago. I was ice skating and I wasn't wearing a helmet. Wear your headgear, people. I learned a lot from that. And um, I fell backwards and I hit my head on the ice and... Um, I lost my sense of smell and, um, it's a little tiny bit of it's come back, but like, there's just so many things that I can't smell now, including like perfume. Like it's weird. I can smell random things. Like I can briefly smell coffee. I can briefly smell like a very strong, fragrant flower, but like I cannot smell everyday smells. Like I can't even smell my own armpits which some of you might be like oh that's not a bad thing well it is like <laughs> when you don't know you stink and you do so but before that can you remember something that you love like the smell of i just really love the smell of like uh the grill hmm. like stuff cooking on the grill like i don't know it just I love that because it just reminds me of like the summertime and like being outside and mm -hmm. you know. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Are you a leader or a follower? Can I say both? Yeah. I'm a little. But you have to elaborate on why you think you're both. It depends on the situation. I feel like I am a leader in that, like, I do like to take charge in things and like, I'm good at organizing things yeah. and organizing events and planning um, ahead. But yet also I'm pretty go with the flow so I can just also follow along with. So yeah, I, I think both. Yeah. I'm pretty flexible both ways. Yeah. Do you agree? I would, I would say that's pretty true. I okay. mean, like you definitely are, you know, you're an entrepreneur, you're a leader, like when, you know, you work with your clients and you definitely are great at what you do, but then like in a more social situation, more of a follower. Yeah. I would say you more of a like, 
you know, introvert, kind of go with the flow mm -hmm. that way. So, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, a little of both. Oh, Kimmy, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I would want to fly. I have always wanted to fly. Like, it, it fluctuates between being able to fly and being invisible. Like, I think it would be really cool to be invisible because you could, I mean, you could do a lot with that. But I, I think it would also make me feel really icky. So, I just want to fly. <laughs> Like that would be like a cool thing. Cause you can go anywhere you want to go. Yeah, and just at any random moment you could just like take off. So that's what, that's what I would want to do. Okay. All right. Um, what personality trait did you wish you had? Mm. I love your personality, so I wouldn't Thank change you. anything. But you know, we're all our you. worst. Like I think. I wish I was funnier. No, no, okay. No, can I take that back? I feel like I could definitely lean towards being very, like, serious. Yeah. I wish I could be more... Life of the party? No, not even that. Like, just more lighthearted and fun and, like, just less serious. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Even though, you know, you're fun. I think you're fun. Funny. But... I wish... Just, yeah. Let go more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't. All right. I'll do. I'll find one more for you. I feel like we need to do one more question. Oh, this video is short, y'all. I can find more questions. Well, oh, <sighs> what do you wish you did more of? Oh God, that's easy. <laughs> that's an easy one right now. I wish I exercised more. I wish I was like working out more. Really. Yes, baby been on in a rut. I'm getting out of the rut. I'm, I'm getting some, you know. Assistance. Yes, I've got some good people around me. I'm getting some assistance with that. But um, I've, you know, I'm amazed over and over. Every time I fall off the wagon, get back on, fall off, get back on, fall back, which has happened all so many times in my life. Yeah. Um, I'm amazed at how good you feel. Not just the physical part, but like for me right now, it's the mental mm -hmm. piece. Same. Um, for example, like I've only worked out twice this week and even though I've got so much going on and I'm really overwhelmed, like just that one hour a day, I leave from there feeling like, I got this, like, mm -hmm. and I feel clearer and I feel, which, you know, I just forget about mm -hmm. that. So anyway, yes, right. I'm on the trek to do more of that. Oops. <laughs> and um, so I want to just kind of end with a light one. I hope you have a story. When did you find out Santa wasn't real? Or did you ever even believe in Santa? Oh. Um, I did, but I feel like, so my parents weren't like big holiday people. Like it wasn't like, let's make this magical for the kids. It's Christmas. So like my mother would like. They weren't? No. I mean, I thought maybe your mom would be. No. So like I would see like all the Christmas, I don't remember how old I was, but I remember seeing all the Christmas gifts wrapped in her room. So obviously like. That okay. wasn't Santa, so I mean. So you never really believed in Santa. I mean, I'm, I mean, when I was little, little, but then pretty okay. quickly I was like. Okay, all right. There was no magic about that for long. Well, that's a shame. I know. That makes me mad. That's okay. Every kid needs that Christmas magic, girl, or that Hanukkah magic. <laughs> a little magic. <laughs> yeah, so I had the magic until I was about. I think I, I found out at about like age eight or nine, like when, <laughs> when I get my, I still get my mom shit about this. Like, That's pretty young still. So, yeah, but they were, um, 
it was probably like one in the morning, Christmas Eve, and they were up in the attic bringing down bicycles and stuff. And so like I peeked out the door. I remember like my stepbrothers were spending, they were staying with us and they were sleeping in the other room. And like I peeked out the door and I saw like them coming down the attic with like bikes. And that's when the dream died. Were you really upset or you were like, oh, it's mom and dad? I mean, I don't remember. If, I don't think I was upset. I just was kind of like, it's over. As long as I get my gifts. As long as I get my gifts, I'm all right. But up until then, I totally like believed in the whole thing. <sighs> okay. How do you like to relax? That's a, that's. I'll, I'll give you an easy one. An easy oh, one. God, there. what is relax? What does that even mean? I don't know. You're talking to. Uh, yeah. you know, I just like to chill by my fire pit with my husband and my dog mm -hmm. with a glass of wine, a little snack, um, a little snack plate. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we have a hammock and sometimes we'll just like lay in the hammock together and chill. Like, I mean, those are like the, the things that really jump out at me, you know, but I mean, I do, I, I mean, relax, I guess it's all like. It's up for interpretation, you know. Well, it's for you. So. Like, if that's like a moment where you're just chill and you kind of shut down, you're connecting with Eric. Yeah. And... yeah, I'll tell you what I used to do to relax, which I can't do anymore as a married woman because my husband gets his feelings hurt. I used to go to movies all the time by myself. Like, it used to be like a thing I would do, like, every week. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, I would just, like, because I'm self-employed, so I would just work at my studio until, you know, seven or whatever, and then I'd go hit a 745 movie, and I would just kind of just disappear into the moment and just really love it. And then when I, <laughs> Eric and I started dating, he just wouldn't have it. Like, he just thought it should be a shared experience, and it's really cute. But at the same time, I'm like, but we don't talk during a movie, and I just like kind of, so that was like a big thing that I did. But now, fire pit with my man. What? Yeah. And I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> we got a little puppy outside. Hi, buddy. Staring at us. Um, I, I would say the same. I would say sitting outside with the dogs, fireplace or not, like spring, like doesn't matter if it's fireplace or like summer and I'm like chilling with all, um, all my plants around. And yeah. We got some chill music candles it's like evening almost dark all my i have like can i'm like candle obsessed candles outside yeah and just like just chilling yeah like that's how i feel relaxed yeah mm -hmm. yeah you've got a great setup for that outside all right well all right well i think we're good with the questions aren't we jenny from yes. the block we'll do it again yeah we'll do it again that was fun um so we would love to know your answer to some of these questions like tell us something random about yourself yeah yeah post it in the comments or find us on social media and let us know i mean i want to know what you guys do to relax i want to know when you found out santa wasn't real or the weirdest place you had sex yeah oh god yeah <laughs> you were like boys and Jen. i Bye. um all right so uh we'll be back next week and uh until then you guys just keep on keeping on and um we'll see you soon bye bye